Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and this is Frame by Frame. And today I want to talk about Netflix. Netflix is the nation's primary source now for DVD rental and also for streaming. Uh, it's run by a guy named Reed Hastings. And recently Netflix has gone through a series of gyrations in terms of its product offerings. They raised their prices 60% um, and changed their plans for DVD and streaming combinations. And then a few months ago, they decided they were going to split into two, into Quickster and into Netflix. Quickster was going to offer DVDs and Netflix was going to offer streaming. But then they abandoned that after about 20 or 30 days and decided just to go back to Netflix. But the problem is that Netflix has an enormous responsibility. What it's done is it's basically replaced all of the brick and mortar video stores throughout the United States. And whether it likes it or not, it's become the custodian of film history, uh, not only for the United States, but for the entire world. And so when my students want to see films and they're not on Netflix, there's no place else for them to go. There used to be chains of video stores around the country where you could basically go the blockbuster chains and the mom and pop stores, but all of those are in real trouble. But now Netflix has lost 800,000 subscribers recently, and just a couple of weeks ago their stock fell 26%. So if Netflix folds, I wonder what's going to take its place. Perhaps the mom and pop stores will come back? Who knows? But uh, there's, there's a big argument about whether DVDs are dead or not, and I really don't think so with all of the archival offerings that are being offered by Warner Archives and by Columbia Archives and the various different Sony Archives, that these are DVDs which are cut to order and these are very popular. So Netflix is, is a valuable rental source but the main thing it has to understand is that it is a rental source. It's not just something to make money. It's something that preserves the history of cinema. And therefore, it has an enormous responsibility now that it has obliterated the brick and mortar stores to become the custodian of film not only now, but also for, for the future.